Hello my lovely Scorpios, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your end of January, beginning February 2020 love reading. This is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email is in the box below. Um, it's also on the community tab as well as my website. Check me out on Patreon. I have openings for personals if you are interested. So, I haven't fully had my coffee yet, but, and the camera might shake every time I decide to take a sip of it. Let's see. The energy that I'm sitting in is pretty, surprisingly, it's mellow. Like, I kind of feel, I don't feel numb. I feel like I'm deciding to pull away. It's almost like a connection is kind of shutting down. Um, I picture just like a system, like an electronic system, even a TV just kind of powering down. Um, so it's almost like a loss of energy. Um, the spark is, isn't there anymore. The flame is burning out. I feel like this could have been a very intense connection whether you were with this person or not. There was just a strong bond in the fact that you either wanted to date them or you didn't want this to end. Um, but I feel more of, I feel new energy so it's almost like getting hyped up for this relationship to move forward and thinking that it will and thinking that this is you know, divinely orchestrated but something happened that caused somebody to lose faith in the connection and I almost feel like it caused you to lose faith Scorpio because you it's almost like you know in your heart of hearts that you and this person would be really great together um, and I almost feel like intuitively you know you thought, you felt that they were um, given to you, like that they were brought into your life for a reason. And I feel like you felt that reason was lo a love connection. It could have been a lesson, it could have been, hell, you could have been teaching this person something or they're teaching you something, like how not to get too attached or be intense or anything like that or go over the top before you have all the information. Because we tend to fly on faith a lot because we are so intuitive and it's almost like sometimes when we get wrapped up in shit, we miss some important signs. But I feel like that's more past energy in relationships for you. I, I feel like this time, yeah, you got wrapped up in this connection, wanting it, hoping, wishing, praying for it, you know, thinking it was really positive and going to come together. But I also feel like you did see the signs. Um, you were paying attention. So, like, doubt and, I don't want to say fear because I don't feel like you feared it. I just feel like, yeah, pretty much doubt crept in and was like, okay, why are you here? Why are you in my life? Um, so it's making you stop and question shit because something happened between you and this person, whoever they are. So anyways, the overall energy is hostilities and six chakra archangel Metatron. I almost feel like there's two stories here. I feel like this is you, Scorpio. And you're you, like with your crown chakra, you're very aligned and in tune um, with your higher self, with your... Um, intuition, just your guides in general. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to is extremely spiritual and you were looking for signs and I feel like they were all pointing towards this person at one point in time and then there was a disconnect of some kind. Something happened and it kind of put your defenses up. You're like, okay, I'm seeing things for what they are and now it's not really my wall but I almost feel like He's like guarding the path. You shall not pass. I'm gonna chop your fucking head off kind of energy if you even try. <laughs> if you even try to get past me kind of thing. So I feel like you're standing up for yourself, uh, which is really positive. 
Um, and you're not taking anyone's shit. Whether you feel it's divine or not, you're like, no, I, I know my worth. I've done a lot of work on myself. And if I have to stay alone, I will. I'll fight all you motherfuckers off. Like, that's the energy I'm feeling. And then for others of you, I feel like this is the person you're connecting to. And this is kind of what the disconnect was. They were very guarded and kind of hostile towards the connection. And you were just coming in with all this love and light and enlightening this person. And I feel like you planted a seed in their mind. Like, oh, okay, I'm seeing things differently now. So it's making them view you in a different light, in a more positive light, but they're terrified of it. So they're staying in this angry uh, mode, like, nope, you're not getting into my, <laughs> you can't have my heart kind of thing. Like, um, this person has definitely been burned in the past. Not saying you haven't, because I know you have. Scorpios, that's just... That's a cycle of our fucking life, I swear. But anyways, <laughs> besides that, um, I feel like this is going to be a missed opportunity and it's not going to be one for you. It's going to be one for whoever you're connecting to. Um, just because they're, they're so... They're just so defensive. I don't know. I'm like... They're so defensive to the point that I almost can't even read into this person. Like they're shut down or shut off from connecting. And I almost feel like you two did communicate telepathically through dreams, spiritually. Just There was a connection there and it's almost like if you sat there and said please call me or message me this person would literally do that because they didn't realize you were speaking to them or sending them this subliminal message but it works because they thought of you and they messaged you and I almost feel like a sense of being out of control or feeling out of control because when you have a spiritual connection with somebody like that whether you're supposed to be romantically tied to them or not if they're not as open as you are and they're just open enough to receive, it can be very invading and very intimidating to that other person because they don't understand what's going on. So it's kind of scary. And I feel like that's our number one problem, Scorpio. Not for every Scorpio, like I said, take what fits. But for most of us, especially if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart um, and you tend to vibe high in Scorpionic energy, <coughs> excuse me um where was I going? we tend to be pretty in your face without even fucking realizing it we we take over a room energetically and we don't even half the time we don't even know we're doing it it's just it's our energy it, it, it is what it is but it can be pretty uh, terrifying to other people sometimes so <laughs> okay Let's get some. Am I gonna fucking sneeze? Nope. Let's get some more information. Why is hostilities here for Scorpio? And their overall energy for love. I hope what I said makes sense because I overslept for one and I'm drinking coffee, but I've been having some really fucked up dreams lately and. I mean, I woke up feeling refreshed and everything, and literally, the first thing I'm doing, besides coffee, obviously, um, and getting dressed, you know, whatever, the first thing I'm actually going to do besides your daily shit is reading, and I feel like I have so much coming at me, so much energy, and it's really hard for me to, de to decipher it, because just picture this, I don't know if any of you have ever seen, I'm going to say Spaceballs because I can't fucking remember the actual movie that that's a spoof off from, like Star Wars or something. You know, like the galactic speed where the stars are just like, whoo, 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 whoo. that's what it looks like. And if you slow it down, you can actually see what it is coming at you, but it's just coming in so quick. So I feel like I'm being bombarded. Some of you might feel that way too. Like, oh my God, I'm getting so many signs and synchronicities. <laughs> I don't understand what they are because it's too much. And if that's the case, um, especially if it's just throughout your day and it's been happening more and more, um, sit down, meditate, 
and talk to your guides and tell them, okay, let's take a break because I'm not understanding what the hell is going on. Like, one thing at a time, please. <laughs> they will listen. They probably just think that you are able, or that you're ready and able to work at that speed. Page of Cups. This is a <coughs> a small emotional offer. It could also be an apology. So, ooh, there's a moon at the bottom of the deck. This is Piscean energy. It can be Cancerian energy. Don't know who you're dealing with at this point. We haven't really dived in. But there's secrets here. There's things that have been done in the dark and literally in the dark I feel nighttime right now like normally when I look at this card it's just about the, what something isn't being revealed to you this can also represent an intuition and I feel like with the six chakra Archangel Metatron over here I feel like Scorpio you might be standing like being guarding yourself guarding your heart protecting yourself against love because there's something you found out you know something your intuition is telling you something is off with this situation and you want a fucking apology I don't think you want to apologize I think you want an apology and you're being pretty cutthroat about it um, I almost feel a disconnect in communication like somebody kind of fell off the face of the planet when flew off the radar because um, you're in defense mode right now so this very well could be some of you um, is standing up for what you believe in and what you feel is right and there's nothing wrong with that if somebody did something to hurt you when you were being nothing but genuine and they're all up in here having secret time with other people yeah that would hurt me too you know um, but I did see nighttime with this, so whatever you found out, whatever this person is doing, was doing, um, even if this is just a pattern that happens in your love life with lovers, this is like, <laughs> it's sex, basically. Somebody's fucking somebody else. Um, and I feel like it could be multiple people. So you could be dealing with a player, play girl, play boy, whatever. Doesn't matter, male, female. Um, I feel like somebody almost led you on this has got to be a fucking lesson man it, something wasn't matched but what this person doesn't realize is they just lost out on a, a solid connection something beautiful something real um, and I feel like it took you a long time to open up too like this didn't happen overnight and they kind of led you on and I, I that's why you're so defensive they were keeping shit from you so I don't think you want to wait around for this person anymore six chakra arc into medicine life is here Scorpio wants someone to come and grovel at their feet and apologize I mean maybe not to that extent but that would be nice wouldn't it be like kiss my feet motherfucker <laughs> if only right if only. I don't even know. I didn't even see that card. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Yep. You're standing up for yourself. You're not going to take anyone's bullshit. You know your worth, basically. So this is you just knowing, just having an inner knowing that even if this person doesn't come forward and apologize, even if they never tell you what they did, you already know. You found out some way, shape, or form, whether somebody told you, you saw it online, uh, like pictures or messages um, or you just saw it in a fucking dream or you you just got a feeling because I get that like I, it's almost like just a clear knowing and like I don't know how the fuck I know I just know I, I feel that here and I feel like it's forcing you to be very guarded around this person and to walk away and I feel like a lot of you are okay with that um, it might hurt a little bit I almost feel I almost feel someone shedding some tears and not in a cry myself to sleep every night kind of way. I almost feel like, okay, this stung a bit. This person tried to play me for a fool. 
I feel I cried. I listened to a couple fucking lovey songs. I got some tears out, and now I'm good. I'm good. I'm done. I'm over it. And now I'm moving on. And that just shows so much strength and growth within yourself when you can do that. Because you know this person wasn't right for you. It could have been a test. That they could be being tested right now, and the universe is like, well, motherfucker, you chose wrong. So they're going to have to deal with their own shit. But that has nothing to do with you. So let's kind of see what's behind the scenes with this person. This one's going to be a long video because I'm already 15 minutes in because I can't shut up for some fucking reason. So <coughs> what this person is thinking about but not, not telling you, this could be you too, Scorpio, because I'm talking to... Um, cross watchers and everything too so this could be what you're thinking about the cross watcher or this is them the other part whatever take it where it fits it's the other person <laughs> let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally I feel like this is what this person was thinking that you were controlling you were trying to uh, move too quickly for them and they were just non-committal they weren't ready to settle down and they didn't tell you that which is why you probably said or did whatever you did and if it seemed controlling or it seemed like you were trying to take charge of the situation it's not because you want to control them or how things go it's almost like sometimes when you want information you just need to know like where do I stand with you? Where do I stand in this situation? It can come off as dictating to somebody, like trying to control it in a sense like, okay, we're together kind of thing, um, just because you're so demanding of information. And this person just must be very immature compared to you um, because there's nothing wrong with needing to know where you stand in someone's life. If you are just a a fling, a fuck buddy, or whatever, you need to know because you don't want to go into it, it with feels and fucking get attached when you know that it's just going to be a one night thing. And if you're agreeing to that and you want to do it too, you can prepare yourself so you don't get attached kind of thing. But I almost feel like this person led you on and kind of made you a little crazy in your head like thinking about them um, like where's this going so you might have approached them in a hostile way like what what's going on like why why do you talk to me one one day and then not the next why are you all lovey-dovey and then you just want to be my fucking friend so it you were confused I'm just gonna put it that way the shadow side or blockage within this why they're not saying something or not telling you this is doubt. This person doesn't know, they don't even know what a fucking asshole is. I'm just saying they couldn't find their way out of a fucking paper bag. Um, it's almost like they're blaming you of being too intense and too controlling and trying to take charge of the situation when they just want you to relax and chill and like kind of go really slow and just they want to control it is what it is. They don't like the fact that you're powerful because this is a very controlling person and I don't feel like they're controlling in a way that's like toxic I mean to trying to control someone is toxic but I don't think that they want to control you I think they want to be in charge of the situation they want to be the one to initiate to to make the decisions basically and they know that you're strong and that you want to do that too <laughs> so you guys it's like battle of the egos I guess um, but they're not fully sure if you were even trying to control the situation it's just their perception it's what they're thinking and they're wondering like why was Scorpio acting that way they have no fucking clue because they're not in tune with themselves and they're not they're not going inward when they should because they're the fucking problem well, at least this person is let's see why is let go of control issues here why did this happen why is doubt here I just heard somebody doubts that this relationship could work probably because somebody is controlling and if that's the case it might be um, 
you Scorpio who is doubting the connection now because you just you don't have the answers you need basically so we have the three of cups and it's reversed that's not coming together that's no reconciliation that's no celebration um, I feel like there was third party here. Uh, there was somebody else involved. And it might not even be, yeah, I feel a lover. And I don't feel a romantic connection. I feel like sex. This, uh, There's somebody who has been talking to you, kind of leading you on, stringing you along behind the scenes and sleeping with other people. It's none of these re relationships have lasted and it's not like they made it Facebook official or anything oh yeah the high priestess reverse this you find, you know um, five of cups reverse but you're not shedding any fucking tears about it you're not crying over it like I said I feel like somebody cried for a few minutes listened to a few songs was like okay and then just let it go it's like no loss here kind of thing I'll move on <sighs> I just feel like this person wasn't ready for commitment. They didn't want to settle down. And you found you found this out whether they told you or you found it out some way, shape, or form. I almost feel like for some of you they did tell you, but it was it's almost like they were talking to you like they they're your buddy, longtime buddy or whatever. And it kind of slipped out and I almost feel like <laughs> like getting kind of nervous, like you know, when you're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that, how are they gonna react? and you didn't react and I think it threw them off I, because they were thinking oh fuck now the Scorpio's gonna cry over me kind of thing and you're just like I already knew I already fucking knew <laughs> I was just waiting for you to tell me kind of thing um, that's what I feel here so really they don't even need to tell you this because you just know and you're the one doubting this connection just because of their actions. So their feelings for you, <clears throat> what they're not expressing, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. There's definitely fucking trust issues here, I'll tell you that right now. I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like you were trying to trust the situation, you are trying to be chill, you are trying to relax and just kind of go with the flow and allow things to happen naturally with this let go of control issues because that's kind of what it's telling you. I feel like you were really trying to do that and you don't normally do that because you want information. But this person would never tell you where you stood with them and it was really bothersome. I feel like you've had these conversations with this person. Um, like, do you like me? the fuck kind of thing like don't you dare lead me on um, so the shadow side of this or the block why they're not expressing their feelings is misguided yeah this person definitely is misguided I almost feel like you put your faith and your trust in the wrong person um, it was almost like this was a faded event and I feel like because of that, you didn't see it as a lesson. You saw it as a soulmate or whatever, just a divine connection. Um, so you were trying to, basically you were letting your guard down with the wrong person. That's why I think that your intuition misguided you in that fact. Like you might have read a sign wrong, basically. And it's bothersome to you I feel like if you're upset over this situation it's not so much the person it's how you handled it or just how the situation went down how it ended um, I don't think it's ended yet I feel like this is still the on and off thing but it's more friend zone type shit now it's there's minimal communication but it's not lovey-dovey anymore I almost feel like you stopped talking to this person and they all of a sudden started messaging you stupid shit again and it's like what the fuck do you want you know just when you're ready to walk out the door they're like hey baby so I feel like they're kinda of trying to keep you stuck and that's what's so confusing to you it's like if you don't like me just go away alright why is trust here so you're having a hard time trusting the situation because you feel like you've gone, you've headed down the wrong direction. It's almost like you want to walk away, backtrack, retrace your steps,
be where you went wrong and kind of try again. And maybe not even with this person. I really don't feel with this person. Um, just in love in general. It's like, which is good. I feel like you're not allowing this situation or this person to stop you from ever being in a relationship again. Or, for fi or from finding love. So that's positive. So I think it's this. Uh, Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. I think that's the saying, trust trust your gut, trust your feelings. It's It was okay for you to get caught up in the moment and to catch feels for this person, basically, is what this is saying. It's saying we all make mistakes. We all read signs differently. Um, this is a lesson, is what I strongly feel a lesson here. And I feel like you know that, and it's basically, and this could even be your feelings, I feel like if this is you, Scorpio, this is the universe saying, don't lose faith. Don't lose faith in yourself, basically, that, that just because you veered off the path, I guess you could say you kind of walked in the ditch a little bit, doesn't mean you can't correct yourself and get right back on. That's kind of what I'm getting for somebody, especially if this is Scorpio's feelings. Um, that's what I mean. I don't really feel this person too much. But if this is the other person, they just have trust issues. I feel like they, you made them happy. Um, you had a lot of fun conversations. Um, you have a lot of the same interests. But they're misguided. Their judgments are off because they're so guarded. Um, I almost feel like they're chasing a fantasy. That's not you. And that's why they're kind of doing that player shit because they don't want to be emotionally attached because they just don't trust. They feel like they're they're hostile. They feel like they're going to get hurt. Um, so yeah, they're definitely misguided. And I think you know that. Yep. Justice reversed. Pretty much what I said. There was an injustice done to this person. It was a family unit, so a lot like long-standing commitment whether they were married or not doesn't matter this person hurt them so it caused trust issues and now they're just they're doing all the wrong things basically they're going they're walking down a dark fucking road um, with wildebeest and fucking scary shit in the woods and you're sitting there with a flashlight like eh, these motherfuckers I'm protected they won't bite me but this person isn't as protected as they think they are they're gonna get mauled by bears. They don't smart and fuck up, or by Scorpio. <laughs> Fucking take your razor tongue out and end the bitch. See, ten of swords. Yep, there's definitely an end to the situation, and it has to do with these fucking secrets. I feel like you knew about this other person and why this person is feeling the way that they feel and how they're, why they have trust issues, but. You don't have the concrete evidence. This person never really flat out said, I fucked Jen and Jane and Jill and hell, even Jack. I don't know. Maybe they swing both ways. But anyways, you didn't know who they were doing things with. You just had this inclination. So I feel like you're walking away. Or you already have. And it might have caused some anxiety because um, my chest is hurting really bad all of a sudden. It's kind of my heart, so I feel like it, it did hurt. Uh, this per It's almost like this person put a dagger in your heart. I also feel like that's how they just feel constantly. This person sits in misery, man. Like, they're so stuck in the muck. Yeah, that must be what it is because my chest doesn't hurt anymore. Somebody's heartbroken. And I don't feel really feel like it's you, Scorpio. So their desired outcome with you or yours because I do see a lot of your energy in here for some reason is chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here sex 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 <laughs> I feel like there's a player in this mix like I said somebody is Sticking their dick in multiple holes, just saying, or spreading their legs for everyone. Whoever you are, I don't know, but whatever. 
Um, somebody is not being faithful, somebody is being non-committal, they're just kind of in and out, and in and out, doing their own thing because they don't want to get attached. They have trust issues, they're very misguided, um, but they have a strong magnetic attraction to you, which is why I feel they continue to talk to you and, hey buddy, what's up, kind of bullshit. You want to build a solid foundation and you want to have commitment and you want somebody that you can just grow with and be with um, that emotionally fulfills you. Um, this person isn't ready for any of that shit, and, but they don't want to lose you at the same time because you're very alluring. They have a lot of passion for you. They're drawn to you. This person probably whacks off to you. Um, they look at your pictures and fantasize kind of thing. Like I strongly feel that they have sexual urges towards you. Um, I mean, if you don't like me talking about sex, you probably should be watching a Scorpio reading, just saying. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, the blockages, why they're not, why they're not having sex with you, basically. Oop. Or why you're not with them. Ruthless. Fucking focus, man. There we go. I feel like this is a sex-only thing. That's all they want from you. And this person is going to get to a point where their fantasies aren't going to be enough and they're going to want the real deal. Be careful with that because they might come in with an apology. And kind of kiss your ass and give you what you want, basically, so that they can have sex with you. Um, if that's the case, I feel like this person, this person is going to sign their fucking death warrant, basically, because do that to a Scorpio and you're gonna fucking regret it. I can, you want to see ruthless? Uh huh. Anywho, especially if they have like any air in their chart too, um, they will fucking cut you down, and they won't even have to touch you. Like you will feel like the biggest piece of shit ever for doing this. But I, I almost feel revenge, like, oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore? Well, I'm going to come back around, I'm going to lie to you, I'm going to get you in bed, I'm going to get what I want, and I'm going to take off. Um, I feel that for somebody, so just be cautious with that, especially if this is resonating. It's telling you, you already know everything you need to know, you need to walk away from this person, this situation, it's not healthy for you. You two are polar opposites, and not in a good way you're sitting in the light and they're sitting in the dark and I know that the dark is alluring and we're not afraid of it Scorpios aren't um, but you've done so much work on yourself you don't need to be sitting in that negativity is what I'm getting at so let's get some more information on this connection I guess their desired outcome somebody just cannot keep it in their pants sorry my face strength Leo energy to me this is advice it's for you because I feel like this person they are trying so hard to hold back to t <sighs> this person wants to like just ravage you I swear to God they want to rip your clothes off and do the nasty nasty in the most fucked up ways I don't know like this feels like really amazing sex I'm not gonna lie so if you can detach yourself emotionally and you wanna go down that road, feel free kind of thing, but only if you know you won't get attached because this person won't stay. So they're fighting off the urge to come towards you, basically. Um, and it's telling you to stay strong and to not cave in to this. Don't cave into your primal desires uh, just because you haven't been laid in a while, you know? Or even if you have and you just kind of want to see what this person's all about. Just be cautious and make sure that you're strong enough to handle it if you decide to go that route. I feel like if you mentally put yourself in that place, you would be strong enough, but there are so many of you, so don't take that advice unless you know 110% that you're not going to get attached because this person will not stay. They might come back for round two. Exactly, the fool. Don't be foolish. This is basically saying don't let your desires take over. Stay strong. Do not take a leap of faith with this person. Do not jump off that cliff because you're just going to end up hurt in the long run. And this is stay strong, move on. This person's going to come at you. And they're probably going to tell you that they've thought this through. 
I know what I want. I love you, Scorpio. I want a new beginning with you. You make me a better person, Scorpio. I'm so drawn to you. You're so sexy. This is a revenge tactic here, somehow, some way. I don't know fucking why, but I feel like if they're being this, this cutthroat and ruthless, basically, fucking taking advantage of your feelings and just you as a person for their own fucked up fantasies, um, that's just, that's just cruel. You don't want to be with anybody like that. That's nasty. Yeah, they're going to come in all fucking sweet and this is that friendly energy. It's usually a message of good news. And then with the nine of cups under that, I feel like that's what this person's going to say. You're my wish fulfillment. I missed you. Hey, what's up? Kind of, what's up, Scorpio? Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. You know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So what they want to say to you or what you want to say to them for whoever this is, is I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. So I feel like you have had a conversation with this person about commitment. I mean, I think I did say that and it put a lot of, a lot of fear and doubt and they just have their fucking walls up basically. So they listen to you and they know that what you're saying makes sense and they're probably going to lose out on a really good thing basically but I feel like this person is just not ready for commitment and they're going about it in the wrong way they really are because they're misguided as fuck they are gonna end up in this haunted little shack scared out of their mind because the demon's gonna possess them or some shit I don't know but no I shouldn't say that but you know what I mean it's just they're gonna be they're going in the wrong direction Anyways, something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. So this person's still trying to find themselves, but like I said, they're doing it the wrong way. They're not doing it in a healthy way. This person probably drinks a lot. I mean, they might do other recreational drugs or what prescription drugs, I'm not sure. But I do feel drinking. I feel like they do, most of the time when they talk to you, it is at night. And it's because they've had a few drinks. Um, and then these fantasies and this lust energy comes out and they're like, Scorpio, you know, and it was confusing you for a while. I feel like you're seeing things clearly and you're ready to walk away and you're hoping for an apology, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if you'll ever get that apology. If you do, it's just because they caved in and they want to brown chicken, brown cow with you, you know? <sighs> fucking people, I'm telling you what. So, whoever you were connected to recently that you really didn't date, you thought it would be something good. Yeah, they're just a player. They're not they're non-committal basically. They're still hung up on a past situation. They have trust issues. They're trying to hold, like they're trying to have all the power and control over the situation over themselves even. Um it, this is just not healthy until this person grows up um, and heals and just learns how to communicate properly like a fucking mature adult I'd stay clear of them definitely but yeah that's what I have for you Scorpio this is definitely not for everybody um, if it resonated please like share comment subscribe the more you interact with me the more I have them to pick up on your energy um, hit me up for a personal, and hopefully we'll get like more of a positive new love outlook um, for February because, you know, Valentine's Day and all that shit, which I fucking hate Valentine's Day. It's just a Hallmark holiday, but so many people celebrate it that, you know, I just do the Valentine's gig for, for this stuff because um, it is nice to know who's kind of peeking in on you. <laughs> but anyways what I have for you and I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.